The US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo came to South America to strengthen an 18-month campaign of economic sanctions and diplomatic pressure directed at the President of Venezuela, Nicolas Maduro. That he is not only a leader who has destroyed his own country, a man-made crisis of the most extraordinary proportions in modern history. Uh, he is also a drug trafficker. He received firm backing in Colombia, the final leg of his four-nation tour, from President Ivan Duque. The Colombian leader highlighted a report released this week by the United Nations Mission on Venezuela, alleging unlawful executions, enforced disappearances, arbitrary detentions and torture. Using international justice, we should go ahead and, as I said many years ago, denounce Nicolas Maduro to the International Criminal Court. But Maduro, in his seven years in office, has heard it all before and withstood several attempts to overthrow him, the latest a failed military incursion five months ago. He remains defiant. Mike Pompeo is on a warmongering tour against Venezuela, but it's backfired on him. He's failed in all his attempts to get the governments of the continent to organize themselves in a war against Venezuela. A great friend of the United States of America. Brazil, Colombia and several other governments in the region support the U.S. stance on Venezuela. Others condemn what they see as interference by Washington. The people that have to take care of Maduro are the people of Venezuela, not the United States. Mike Pompeo doesn't have to take care of Maduro. The Venezuelan voters does. While the ideological battle rages, the humanitarian crisis continues. In northern Brazil, Pompeo visited some of the hundreds of thousands of Venezuelan migrants who have crossed the border to escape economic and political turmoil. Venezuela won't take them back while it tries to contain the coronavirus pandemic. Nicolas Maduro has made it clear he doesn't plan to go anywhere either. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera.